Good morning, Panthers. I'm Ian Parra. And I'm Isaac Dudley. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First step, we have some announcements. Theater Club is a new club on the campus. Feel free to attend their next meeting today in Senior Lopez's room. They will meet regularly on Mondays and Wednesdays at lunch. This Thursday is Panther Stock. It runs from 1.55 to 3 p.m. and will have a modified schedule. This morning, I saw a running man. He passed by my home, panting, limping, running desperately. I tried to stop him, but he would not meet my eye. This noontime, I saw a running man. He was coming down from the mountain holding a bag. His knees were bloody, his face covered in tears. This evening, I saw a running man. He was leaving town, legs pumping like a terrified heart. I think he was missing a hand. Is it that he wouldn't meet my eye, or that he had no eyes? I now wish I could remember. There are many things I wish I could remember. The journalism class will be hosting a tie-dye fundraiser today after school from 3.30 to 4.30. Bring whatever item you would like to tie-dye and there's only a $2 entry fee. Once again, the deadline for the Panther Stock Art Contest is the 4th, that is tomorrow. Please do not forget to turn in your high school and college class forms by this week, Friday. Alright, new ideas for the next episode, go! I heard that Isaac and Cody are going to fight. Yes, that. Whiting and Tong have a teacher feud going on. Nobody cares about teacher drama. Next! Freshmen need more time on their election campaigns? No, they don't. Next! LHS is acquiring LMCHS. Juicier, better, war. I heard Miss Pathel's resigning next year. Yeah, somebody in her first period class sent me this. So, usually I don't do this, but you know, I was just reading this last night and I, we've gone over this. How many times have we gone over how to accurately cite your sources? I mean, we've had a hour long conversation. We have had comments about plagiarism. We have talked and talked and talked and talked and talked. How many times do I have to say this? If you want to use a book, you cite it. You cite it. Do not use a book without citing your sources. <laughs> this is not yours. This is not something to use without saying the name of the author. They work hard for this. This man lived through a concentration camp to write this book. You really think you can cite this without saying it? I give up. You know what? I give up. I'm done harping on this topic. I'm done. I'm done. Whatever. Do you think any of this matters? Does this affect any of your lives? Please do not forget to turn in your high school and college class forms by this week, Friday. And now we have a word with John Ga. Kookaburra. And now we have a phrase with John Ga. Are you sure about that? And finally, we have the pun of the week. So, Ian, how old are you? 17. That's it for this episode. Have a great week. Hey, guys, do you think this episode's kind of been a little weird? Something seems off.